Every year, hundreds of refugees and immigrants arrive in St. Louis ready to start a new life. These are people who have been uprooted from their previous countries by war, disease, or crisis. They now face living in a new town, unable to speak the language, and unsure of the culture or customs they'll face. What these new members of our community need more than anything is a friend they can rely on. That friend is Anna Crossland. I think Anna fills a place in our community that nobody else does. She sees potential. She sees what not only the people who come to this country can be, but what our community can be, and she reminds us all of that. As president and CEO of the International Institute of St. Louis for the past 30 years, Anna Crossland has created one of the country's most effective agencies for meeting the needs of newcomers from around the world. More than 8,000 people from 100 countries turn to the Institute each year to learn English, find jobs, receive counseling, and secure a solid foundation for their families. Businesses rely on the Institute for translation and other services that connect them with these new employees and customers. Well, she's been there for a very long time, and she really knows every aspect of the organization inside and out. She's able to understand the intricacies of every single program and to make sure that they're continuing to meet the needs of their client base, which changes all the time. She is uh, capable, number one, and uh, dedicated to the cause. And also, she has a personality that is very persistent. <laughs> you, know, you cannot say no to her. I give her great credit for her endurance. You know, that sometimes you give up. Funding uh, streams are drying up. Government funding are cut constantly. And she finds creative ways to survive. And her institution became, you know, the best example. The success of the International Institute is testament to Anna's leadership, vision, and creativity. She's forever thinking of new kinds of services and new kinds of projects and new details, new, new things that we could be doing. From a business perspective, the International Institute has done a wonderful job of encouraging entrepreneurship among immigrants and really bringing a vibrancy to the St. Louis business community. If we're to be part of the global market at this point, players on the, on the international scene, then we have to represent, that we have to have uh, those from the cultures, from the languages at that point, that really uh, know what the heck is happening out in the world. Uh, it helps in terms of diversity in our workforce. It helps in terms of the richness of our culture. Gee, it even helps have wonderful ethnic restaurants here. Um, but it really helps us as a community be stronger and more competitive. As much as Anna is respected for her business savvy, it is her genuine caring personality that her friends say sets her apart. She's very, very approachable. She's Anna to everybody on staff, and she's Anna to people who are leaders of communities all over the, the city. She's very warm, very engaging, um, and yet she's really got her finger on the pulse of everything. She's uh, in touch. And uh, you can tell that the people in the International Institute just love her. Um, they refer to her as Miss Anna, and she has thousands of fans across the city. Being a leader is about doing something that accomplishes good for the community. Um, I couldn't do what I do today if I didn't believe um, just deeply within myself that what I do has great value, not just for the individuals, but for the community as well. Um, I'm part of that generation that wants to leave a, a footprint somewhere and uh, when we leave this uh, world to say, well, it's a little bit better than it was when we came into it. Under Anna's leadership, the International Institute has become a major factor in the economic, cultural and social life of the St. Louis community. Her real achievements, however, can be found in the individual success stories of those she has helped. Thousands of refugees and immigrants now call St. Louis home because they have found a friend. For that, they are forever grateful. Thank you, Anna. Merci, Anna. What Anna. Anna, muchas gracias. Anna.
أنا خان قالك ممنون بو أو شو ليت أبو ماكين المنظمة قالك شتا ممنونين زور سباس أنا متأمة ما سجلت شهد. Congratulations Anna. It is well deserved. Um, we appreciate all that you've done for the International Institute and for the whole community, and we hope you continue for many more years.